Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the director at the Jefferson County Public Library, and I've been here for just over a year. My first year has been great. It's been lots of fun. Um, I'm very happy with the, the in, improvements and changes that we've made. Um, it's been really busy. The most notable changes we've made have been our Wi-Fi system. We upgraded it. It's much faster. It uh, has much better coverage throughout the out throughout the buildings at both Madison and Hanover. Um, and we've almost tripled the, the usage in the last year. We also updated our websites, both our main one and our local history one. They're uh, much faster, sleeker, and more modern looking, much e easier to use. Also out at Hanover, we've doubled the, the staffing and we've also added four hours uh, to each week that, that, that we're open. And finally, our programmings, our programs this year, we're, we're on pace to uh, double the, the number of uh, programs we've had um, in the previous years. Now those are all great, great changes and we're looking forward to, to keeping those up as we go along and we're not planning on slowing down anytime soon. A couple of projects that are underway is, uh, the first one is an a awards section. We're taking all the winners of the Pulitzer Prize, the National Book Award, and also the Goodreads, all the fiction prizes, and we have an empty bookshelf in our main reading room at, at, at Madison. And so we're gonna put all those books out there for patrons to check out just under one, one big category. Uh, also in the fall, we're starting a lecture series. Uh, we're getting those speakers rounded up in kind of a higher class of, of programs, so we're looking forward to those. Um, I, I really wish that those type of programs and services were the only things that we had to focus on, but we also have some, some building projects coming up. Um, the Madison's roof is over 30 years old, um, so it's a little bit a little bit long in in the, the the tooth. In fact, my first couple of months here, my father-in-law and I, uh, he owned a roofing business for for several decades. We went up on the roof and patched up all the leaks and anywhere that we thought m might be leaking, uh, just to try to get a few more years out of it. So that's going to be a big project. Also, our, our elevator was installed in the '60s and hasn't been touched since. So so that's going to be a, be a big project coming up. We're uh, in installing handicapped doors out at Hanover. Uh, we, we currently don't, don't have those and so we wanted to get those in to better serve everyone out at Hanover. Now these are all big projects and they all need to, to be done, but the problem is they drain funds from the fun stuff, uh, the things that directly benefit patrons. Uh, not that I'm trying to be negative, that's just the nature of running a public li library in today's world. You have to keep the, the lights on and the buildings in good shape. I just can't help thinking about all the other good things we could give the people of Je Jefferson County if we didn't have to worry about the roof or the elevator. That's where private do donations really come into play. In the 1980s, a woman named Pat Euler gave a sub substantial amount of money to the library in her will. Uh, through good stewardship by former directors and boards, we were, we've been able to uh, in, increase that money by almost 50%, all the while buying books year over year. Much, m many more books than, than our operating budget would have allowed in the first place. Also, each year, Arvin Sango, a local company, gives money to, to the li library for our summer programs. The kids benefit from this greatly. Our, our programs can be, can be more ro robust, uh, we can have more events, and it's just all, all in all, everyone benefits from it. The library has always been free, and it always will be free. And the best way to help us is to simply use it. Just by coming in and checking out books or coming to programs, we help create a better, more vi vi vibrant library, and everything else really follows from that. However, some people want to give a little bit more, and that's always a appreciated. If you'd like more info, you can simply call us or check out our website at mjcpl.org slash donate. Thanks. My first year was great. I'm looking forward to many, many more.